The University of Buffalo came out with a study that followed three, uh, 634 married couples over nine years and concluded that couples who drink together have a lower divorce rate. And it's a, but the he heavy, heavy drinkers that drink together have a divorce rate. They get divorced 30 percent of the time. So you can drink together, but you just have to like cool it. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a couple drinks. You can't get like <laughs> housed every single night. Well, most of the time I kind of roll my eyes at these studies, but I have to say I do not drink and I am divorced. So maybe <laughs> husband number two, if you're out there, let's get sauced every night. It'll work out this time. You That's never this. drank. Though. You know she I've drives like a cherry coke when you life. go out with her. You've never had alcohol in your entire never life. Never had a drink of alcohol my entire life. I'm pot? ready for the booze. <gasps> no. Um, thank you. I normally get booed. Uh, no, I've never had. I'm straight edge. I've never had anything. <laughs> Wow. One person gets it. This, I mean, I yeah. can't imagine. How do you yeah. get through your I day my... sober? That <laughs> sounds I'm horrible. Like, I'm high on life. Every like... day, I can't. I wonder even... what. Don't you wonder, like, wh what I would look like if I hadn't partied as much as I did? <laughs> like, I'd probably look like 20 years younger than I am. I mean, I can't imagine never Who having a drink. Who remember every minute of every day? Oh, yeah. That sounds like the worst life ever. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm sitting right here, I can hear you. I know! Yeah.